There you go. Electric bike. First trip on this trail. Got the saddlebags on. Got the mirror on. Kids do not ride without a helmet. Don't be like Mr. D. So we're sharing with you today the phenomenal trail, but also the first real e-bike ride that Gary has taken the e-bike on since we got it. So this starts at George T. Bagby State Park, which is very near where we're staying at Cotton Hill Park Campground. This trail is seven miles in length and ends at the East Bank area. So we're about two miles in. We made it to that water crossing. Since I'm on my road bike, I didn't want to go through it. Gary didn't want to go through it. So we went around on the Lime Rock Road. I'm not sure where he's going, but I'm back on the trail. So the trail came out of George T. Bagby State Park and it's kind of was following the road for a little bit and now it's on like following this dirt road. But over here, you know, there's always woods to the right. Birds. It's been a shady trail. It's kind of out in the sun right now. I think I see a bridge ahead. It's important to note that the Electric XP is not waterproof. So it's recommended that you store and ride it in a a dry environment so we avoided that puddle it says it probably could sustain a you know a light rain now this is the electric XP we did on an unboxing video you can check that out right here but now the new model is out and that is a hundred dollars more so it is the XP 2.0 it's a newer upgraded model I don't even try to keep up <laughs> cheating so we made it to the East Bank Day Use Area Playground. Water, there's a nice bridge over the water. Bikes are resting. We're taking a water break. Speaking of water. Taking a butt break. Butt break. <laughs> the last, what would you say, half a mile or so was winding through the woods. So we left the road. It was really pretty. Over two little bridges? Yeah, it was really pretty. Yeah. Call bridges? Yeah, like like a little swamp bog. Right, yeah. that last uh, little clip I showed you. So here's this. No. There's nobody out today. Well, I guess people are on the water. But it's very quiet. No one on the trail. So we were driving through here the other day. And this sign just cracks me up. Because you know... Signs and warning labels come about because somebody did something sometime. And there you have it. Danger. Shallow water. No diving. Also, alligators are present. Do not approach or feed. So, here you go. Now, I guess that the water perhaps could be down right now. And other times, this water is way up. So, it looks like it might be a nice diving spot. But... Yeah, that water there is about six or eight inches deep, maybe. Maybe. Look how pretty. All right, a little feedback little for you. Feedback. Um, it rides really nice. I found the throttle is actually, it doesn't take a lot to get used to it. Once you get used to it, you can control it very well. The brakes seem to work very well. You've got the shifters here. You, you got the uh, plus to, to add. A little click lever here to take away gears. You've got your speedometer in front of you with your mileage and your battery charge bar in front of you. We put this mirror on. Uh, it, ri it rides really nice. It does really good on downhills. It just coasts for a, forever. I couldn't keep up. <laughs> yeah, it just coasts. It coasts great. The fat tires were great. Um, yeah, so far... Uh, no complaints. Someone's yeah. got to get a calluses wore up on their butts, but outside of that, <laughs> I the seat you... is a really comfortable seat. It's not the seat's fault. I thought you were your your here. your uh, <laughs> I thought you were in your bike shorts. I am. Not yeah. enough, huh? Not, no, not yet. <laughs> yeah, under these I got bike shorts. 
Oh, <laughs> Woohoo! Check it out. <laughs> All right. Not bad. Okay, on right. to the next thing. So the end of the line right here. So it is not seven miles in, seven miles back. It is a seven mile round trip. Because we are here at the Mayhow Children's Pond and the dam. You have to be 16 years old to fish and you can keep 10 fish. And I don't remember the months that was open. It's, it's right the there. Back there. It's that pretty little pond right down there. Yep. With wildflowers and whatnot. That's the levee. Right, and the levee that goes over the dam. But you can't go on it, it's blocked off. So we sadly won't be able to explore that. But anyway, so this is the end of the line. Perfect. What a beautiful area. This is right towards the end of it. You could stop and have a little picnic, a little break. It truly is peaceful here. Nice little corner of Georgia. Beautiful trail. Nice experience. We didn't see but one other person and he was actually getting on the trail. So we passed no one. Very lightly trafficked trail during our stay. There you have it. First main voyage of the electric. 7.34 miles on the phenomenal trail. And I would say that bike ride was phenomenal. Woohoo! Happy travels. Hope to see you on the road. Hope to see you on the trail. That's the lodge right there. You can see um, they have a great buffet, boondocks, fish house. Perfect stop for lunch after a nice bike ride. I love it.